What's up everybody, Zach Hample back with you again, and it is time to give away a whole bunch of cool baseball items, prizes, through a contest in conjunction with the big charity fundraiser that I did this year to benefit pitching for baseball and softball. They donate baseball and softball equipment to underprivileged kids and communities all over the world. I've been working with them now for 11 seasons. And as I've been mentioning all season this year, this is a big fundraiser. If you donate money, you are eligible to win stuff. So this is the video where we pick names and actually give it away. So let me just quickly take you through the prizes, then I'll explain how it works, and we'll start picking names. So this is probably the number one prize that's gonna get people fired up. Well, there's two of them actually. This is an authentic, majestic, cool base Giants jersey. And if you look at the back, it is autographed right here by Joe Panic. Gotta give a shout out to the Cuban in Tampa, Florida, as he wants to be known, for sending me this jersey to give away to you guys. Now, this Marlin stuff right here, the two rally towels from their 25th anniversary and the two commemorative pins, all grouped as one prize. Four Marlins items, one prize. Next up, we have a commemorative spring training baseball from 2018 from Arizona, the Cactus League. You can see the logo right there on the sweet spot, signed by Nelson Cruz. And speaking of baseballs, here's a copy of my latest book, The Baseball. Just give you a quick look at what the inside is like. If you win this, I will be happy to sign it for you. I can personalize it, just let me know. And if you don't want it signed, well, I'll be very offended. Next up, we have these two items from bb-bands.com. They donated them. Basically, I'm not gonna take them out of the package. These are for all you young pitchers out there. The stretchy cables with the hooks, the clamps, you put it on a chain link fence or whatever. You can do those little arm exercises. Excellent training device right here. These two things together will be one prize. We're gonna skip the glove for now. I will come back to this and show you these prizes. This is a Justin Turner bobblehead. Dodgers 60th anniversary out in Los Angeles. I got this last year at Dodger Stadium. You can just see what the box looks like, all right? These two Mets items, they're both Ioannis Cespedes items. We got the bobblehead, and we have his very shiny medallion. Ooh. So the two Cespedes items together will be one prize. Next up, we have this thing that the Yankees sent to season ticket holders about a year ago. It's a little commemorative bat and stand with a plaque, and this card comes with it. It just basically says that this is in recognition of the Yankees setting the single season home run record, which unfortunately has since been broken by the Minnesota Twins, but for a while this was the record and this was the commemorative item that the Yankees sent. So we're gonna keep it moving right along to this entire stack of t-shirts. I'm just gonna flip through really fast. All of these together will be one prize. In the description, I will link to the video that I filmed before this season where I showed all of these prizes in depth. So if you have any questions or if you wanna see stuff closer up, you can look for that link in the description. But all these t-shirts, they're mostly XLs, mostly gently worn by yours truly. So, but just like a, a cool stack of t-shirts that I'm pretty much done with, thought I'd give them away to you guys. And finally, all of this Diamondback stuff together is one prize. So we have a Jake Lamb 20th anniversary Diamondbacks bobblehead, okay? There is also this Paul Goldschmidt Star Wars bobblehead for all you Star Wars fans out there. We have this Diamondbacks beer stein with their logo. I think at the stadium this was for fans 21 and older, but here on my YouTube channel, you could be any age and win this. If you're under 21, put some chocolate milk in there, drink some water, that's probably the healthy option. We have a couple of Diamondbacks towels as well. There's one and here's another, all right. We have this Diamondbacks shirt with a whole bunch of player names on there in the shape of the logo. That's pretty snazzy. And then this Diamondbacks bag. This is a really nice bag. So you can see it has team logo on there, all the straps, this comes in it. So all the D-backs items, one prize, all the t-shirts, one prize, just messed up the stack. Two, two Mets items, one prize, etc. So. The way this whole fundraiser and donating and being eligible for prizes works, and while I explain this, you can just get a nice close-up of all these slips of paper, all the names here turned every which way. 
Basically, you get your name thrown in here if you donated at least one penny per ball that I snagged over the course of the 2019 Major League Baseball season. I snagged 472 baseballs. So if you donated one penny per ball, that would be $4.72. You get your name in here once. If you donated two pennies per ball, and this was money that went directly to pitch in for baseball and softball, you get your name in here twice. If you donated 10 cents per ball, well, that's a $47.20 donation. You get an asterisk next to your name. That means that you are eligible to win a bonus prize, which if you wanna point that camera back at my beautiful face here for a moment, this is the bonus prize for the people with asterisks, which means they donated at least 10 cents per ball, $47.20. It is a brand new A2K glove from Wilson. Okay, you can see it, it even has the tag on there. This is a gorgeous item, all right? And as a throw-in, you will get this Pitching for Baseball and Softball t-shirt. The URL is on the back. This is a small t-shirt, okay? So we have 10 prizes plus the glove. For the 10 prizes, we're gonna have 10 different winners, okay? And you can see I'm gonna put all the names in this hat. I'll even turn it inside out. So you know I'm not trying to hide anything. Well, this is just part of the hat. And I'm gonna step around here and put all these names in here and just keep explaining how this drawing is gonna work. We're gonna have 10 different winners, which means that if your name gets picked multiple times, you're only gonna have one prize to choose from of the 10. And the order in which we pick the 10 names will be the order in which people get to pick. So I kind of have a feeling that the Giants jersey will be the first one to go, but you never know. There might be some Diamondbacks fans out there and they want all that stuff first. So the first name picked gets the first choice. The second person picked gets the second choice and so on. And after we do all 10 names, all right, might pick a couple bonus names in case someone isn't available to claim their prize or they don't want one. Then we're gonna put the people with asterisks back in the hat. We're gonna repick to try to find one winner for the glove. So you can win two prizes if you have an asterisk next to your name, you win one of the 10 and you're lucky enough to win the glove, it's possible, but I predict we'll probably have 11 different winners. So we are gonna just churn this up. The names are already very mixed. I'm gonna hold this bag above eye level like they do at Scrabble tournaments to make sure that no one's like peeking in there trying to cheat. And the first prize winner for the 10 prizes is gonna be somebody named, you can see it right here on the table, I just dropped it, Graham Messer. Congratulations to Graham. And if you just wanna keep this on my face, I will hold up the names as I pick them. So if Graham gets picked again now, he won't win anything until we get to the glove. Next person is somebody named Tim Marcombe with no asterisk. Beating the odds is Tim. So let's see, we now need a third prize winner. And that person is going to be, my fingers are just about blocking it, James Lee. Is that focusing? Can you see it? Mm -hmm. All right, my camera person is nodding. Gotta give a shout out to Rachel for filming this video. Next up, the fourth prize winner will be John Bran. So far, four picks, four different names. I think every time I've done this, we always end up with duplicates. Let's see if we can go 10 for 10 and not have any duplicates here. Next up is Robert Ayers. So that we are indeed five for five with different names. Congratulations, folks, for being picked. And thank you for donating. Next up, the number six pick will be, all right, another new person, Lori Hanjack. Did I say that right? Yeah. I was trying to read it backwards through the paper. All right, so that is six names. This will be the seventh pick right here. And it is Alex Nussbaum. Congratulations, Alex. So you can see that people with the asterisks are overwhelmingly being picked, but 
I don't remember offhand how much money Tim donated. It might have just been a penny per ball or maybe five cents or who knows, but he beat the odds. Next up, we have Kevin Stern. I don't believe we have a Kevin Stern yet. Look at that. We are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, the ninth pick. Will it be another new person? It is Hector Flores. Congratulations, Hector. And this is, this is unprecedented. I mean, I guess I shouldn't be that surprised because more and more people keep donating every year, so there's more names, so I guess there's less duplicates for that reason. And the 10th pick. Can we go 10 for 10 and have just different names all the way through? It's gonna be, oh man, so close. Look who we have. Alex Nussbaum, messing it all up. That's the duplicate. So we're gonna pick again. And Kelly Tungland with the number 10 pick. Now, just in case, and if you wanna get a shot of all these 10 names, just in case any of these people are unavailable, they don't answer my emails, they don't get in touch with me, maybe they do get in touch and say they don't want anything, we're just gonna pick some bonus names. So I think we'll just pick two in case. So this person probably won't win anything, but we're gonna pick it anyway. It is Roger Crawford, okay. So Roger will be the first backup prize picker if any of the 10 are unavailable. And Corey Skaggs as another backup. So I will put all of these 10 names in the description, all right? You can see them again right there. And we're gonna take out Tim because he has no asterisk. Everybody else picked did have an asterisk. So we're gonna group them up, okay? We're gonna put them back in the hat. We're gonna mix the hell out of it. And we're gonna pick again. And the first person picked with an asterisk will be eligible to win that Wilson glove. So here it is. We're gonna mix it, those names on top. We're, we're, we're digging right into the middle. There's a big cluster. Just wanna make sure I don't pick two at once. And the glove winner will be, if they have an asterisk, Stephen Morgan. Congratulations, Stephen. So in case Stephen doesn't want it, we can't hear from Stephen. We're gonna pick backups, but chances are Stephen will come through and claim it. So let's see, the backup glove winner will be somebody named Isaac Acri Paez, all right? And if for some reason both of those guys don't want the glove or they have just disappeared, another backup glove winner, and then that's it. It is James Lee. So that's pretty much it. If you have won a prize, please get in touch with me, email me, leave a comment, do something. Um, don't DM me on Instagram, I get way too many DMs, I can't keep track of it. But again, check the description, I'll throw that link there to the original prize video for closer looks at all this stuff. I'll list all the 10 names and the 11 for the glove winner and the backup winners for all these prizes. Thank you to everybody who donated, it really means a lot, it really helps out the charity and kids all over the world to play ball. Um, if you're watching this video like, what the hell man, I didn't know that you were doing this, I wanted to win something, I would have donated. Come on man, you weren't paying attention. This, this was big news all year, but I will do it again next year in 2020. Stay tuned for that. And yeah, even if you didn't donate, thanks for watching this video. Thanks for just being aware that this is happening. It does mean a lot to me. We raised more than $3,000 this year and more than $200,000 over the last 11 seasons, all for this charity. So that's it for now. I already have another video coming soon. Me and some friends running around on the field at Yankee Stadium, the annual open house. We already filmed it. I already edited it. It's ready to go. So that's coming soon. Stay tuned for that. Thank you guys so much for watching this one.